Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the sniffing tool ruler is missing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and search for settings. Best result, check them back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select the apps button. And then on the right side, select installed apps. In the search apps field, search for snipping. Best match, should come back with snipping tool. Select the three dot icon immediately next to it and select the advanced options button. Scroll down underneath reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then if you're still having an issue after that, you can attempt a second option here, where if the app still isn't working right, you can reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, you can open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run. So please be patient. Now it looks like there's a system repair pending. So I would have to restart the computer and then run this again. However, you guys would just run this command to restart your computer and then that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.